Hey Leo, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay. Alright, <clears throat> Leo. So, you do miss this person. Okay, you miss this person a lot. I get it. Uh, I feel, Leo, for a few of you, there could be two situations that you could be wanting to give in, okay, or that you have to give in. I feel you were not ready to invest into this connection all this while, okay. Um, actually, you know what? No, this is your person. So, you could not, this person could not be wanting to invest into this connection all this while, is what I'm getting here, okay. And I feel that this person here uh, wanted to be single and they were um, okay on their own is what I'm getting here, yeah, because I feel that this person here could be wanting to, uh, you know, they were not um, being very fair, they weren't giving you what you want, if you wanted marriage, there was uh, no commitment from this person's side, okay, or e overall, there was just a lack of balance out here, okay, they were not being fair with you, they weren't being fair, they weren't probably being loyal to you, something like that, for some of you, this person could already have been married, is what I'm getting here, but I do feel here that this person here is someone here who is probably okay on their own right now, this person is okay on their own here, Okay, so if there is no communication here, this person wants to come towards you and they want to communicate with you. Uh, the communication is going to be pretty um, exciting. Okay, so uh, they're not coming off as someone who is coming with that uh, direct communication of taking action towards you because they are in that very independent energy, self-sufficient energy. You know, their state of mind is very relaxed. This person here is not ready to get out of their comfort zone. They're not in a very giving energy, you know. They're more in a place where they have their own world of independence and they don't want to push themselves out of their comfort zone. So if they want to commit to you, they need to push themselves. They need to compromise, okay, their independence. And this person has a lot of fear of losing their independence is also what I'm getting here. So yeah, this person is not ready to invest into the relationship here because they just feel safe. They feel secure where they are here. However, they do want to communicate with you, but they want to keep it very light, okay? So that's a very free-spirited person, the kind of person who wants to come and communicate with you, okay? Uh, someone here who probably does not want to be tied down to, they want to keep it light, they want to keep it all fun and games, you know, uh, they don't want no serious talk, but... Uh, yeah, and of course, it clarifies why is because this person wants to be okay on their own, right? They want to be single. They do realize that they want to make a firm decision about coming towards you and uh, probably thinking more logically. I feel this person is thinking more logically rather than thinking emotionally here, okay? Which is why th there's no emotions coming from their side. It's more like, um, I want to keep it casual. Even if I want to make things right with Leo, I still want to keep it very casual, okay? So they're coming towards you with that energy here, but uh, they're still not trying to get out of their um, uh, their world of, um, let's just say, independence, okay? They're, they're single and they're happy where they are. Whether they're married or whether they're not married, they're just wanting to be single. They don't want to get into any kind of commitment or a relationship where they get tied down to. Uh, I do feel that overall, this person here, even if they want to make it right, even if probably you could have cut them off, okay, you could have cut calls with them, or they could have probably uh, just cut you off, right? But this person here is coming towards you with an energy where they want to make things right. They want to right or wrong here. I do feel here that this person here, no matter how much they want to be with you, even if they want to make things right, they're very careful. This person has trust issues. You, For a, for a lot of you, I feel you're dealing with someone here who probably isn't sure about you, okay? Does not have to be that they're not sure about you because you're not good enough or you you don't love them enough. They just don't trust anyone when it comes to love is what I'm getting. This person wants to be super careful out here, okay? So maybe their past experiences is something that is stopping this person from moving towards you or growing this relationship. Or there could be something that happened between you both in this relationship which is stopping them from moving towards you, okay? But they're kind of exhausted, okay? They're exhausted, there's a lot of paranoia here and this person definitely has trust issues, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they're trying to trust their intuition here. So there is a lot of wait and watch right now. They may not impulsively want to come and communicate with you. They will eventually, probably by the end of November here. But the communication is gonna be very, uh, the moment you cling on to a topic or the moment you get on to a topic where, again, what about the commitment or probably you bring up some past baggage or some kind of emotional talk this person's gonna disappear again i'm telling you that what the truth is here so they're trying to trust their intuition right now okay and they're trying to um, not trust their logic they are guarded but they still want to trust their intuition and probably their intuition is guiding them to come towards you and communicate with you 
you on the other hand here i think you are now being a control freak okay you realize that this is a very very toxic connection this is a toxic relationship you probably even feel to a point where you have given so much to the relationship and you have received less so you give this much okay and you receive this much okay so you've always been the giver in this relationship and you feel it's never been balanced out here is what i'm getting here so now you have probably taken control of the situation you are being very rigid there's a lack of compromise from your side out here and you know that this is toxic you probably even feel that this person has some kind of uh control over you okay and you don't want someone to control you like that because it's becoming toxic right it's so unhealthy here so knowing that this is someone who you're probably obsessed with you probably feel addicted to this person but you just feel the need to walk away here why because you feel backstabbed betrayed and cheated by this person okay you probably feel like you know what i did so much i gave him so much what did i get okay so this person here could be someone who probably has a habit of taking advantage of you okay or you're just someone who just gives in too much too fast so you are feeling backstabbed betrayed cheated lied to by this person out here and uh you probably have come to a uh, conclusion that this connection with this person has mentally hit rock bottom okay this ending has probably uh, given you a lot, made you very very uncomfortable okay and it's a very turbulent energy it's a very rough patch that you're going through but eventually you're choosing to detach from this person emotionally and walk away that's what i'm getting here yeah you do miss this person here but somewhere somehow this person's probably left a bad taste in your mouth okay so even though this person is your soulmate you just feel the need to walk away from this person here this person that you're dealing with is all about their fears they're all about their fears fears about the unknown fear of the unknown they don't know what's going to happen in this connection they don't know where this is going to lead to they need an agenda about where this is leading to before they can take that leap of faith so there's a lack of risk from their side also but it's just a lot of fear stress and anxiety which is leading to indecision from this person's side okay so uh, a negative thinker is what i'd say okay where this person before even taking a chance of investing in a connection or probably even taking the next step <coughs> this person has already made up that my that you know what it's just not going to work out okay so you have a negative thinker that you're dealing with let's see the outcome waiting 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 so we do have a waiting and watch energy out here so there are chances this person uh may like i told you right they will take their time they're trying to trust their intuition this person will make you wait they don't want drama they don't want drama and they're being very defensive right now so i feel this person is trying to if whatever fight you guys have had right i feel this person is trying to protect their point they're pro trying to protect their corner you know it's like that energy where uh, they're not taking action but they're just trying to be very defensive okay they're just trying to defend themselves because probably talking to you is a challenge or it could just create drama out here right but they are uh, there's a lot of resistance from this person out here before in you know to communicate with you even though they want to so bad you know but uh, there's resistance here they're probably trying to stand their corner protect themselves and uh, they they feel <coughs> they're fighting for what they think is right okay sorry i have a dry cough i'm so sorry about that but uh, yeah they're being very strong will right now which is why there is again a waiting period out here okay so uh, temperance is a very good card actually uh, where uh, you can learn to heal you know and you it's probably even teaching you to be very patient okay be patient with the progress um stay peaceful stay cool and uh try and avoid uh, any kind of drama all right when this person tries to reach out because this person wants to reach out to you okay but they just feel that probably whenever they talk to you it's like a huge conflict or something just gets too dramatic out here and they don't like those big displays of emotions if you're doing that stay away from that because that's something that they dread the most um <clears throat> if this person knows that you are not going to bring toxicity in their life now i'm not saying that you guys are toxic i'm just saying that this is what this person thinks okay now toxicity does not mean always that you are toxic it means that maybe you are sticking to one point and you know you want the same thing over and over and over again <coughs> even if this person has made it very clear that things won't work out or you know something needs some time and you still bring up the topic over and over again it kind of you know the person can get fed up this is just what i'm seeing here okay so don't be restless be patient all right and uh, it's got to be a little more waiting time before this person comes in okay but they eventually will they eventually will
Okay, so that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates and leave your comments below. Bye bye.